Back in the garage today. In the garage. Back in the garage. Back in the garage today. What's going on, guys? Back in the garage today, working on Noah's 2024 KTM 250 XCF, which he still hasn't ridden, but we're getting it race ready. So in today's video, we're going to be installing a TM Design Works rear, rear uh, chain guide, and we're also going to be installing an Enduro Engineering rear rotor guard. Uh, I'm going to link both these down in the description below. Um, we've been running these TM Design Works chain guides uh, pretty much on all of our race bikes. The factory one's not terrible, uh, and I'm not sure on the 2024, but on the previous ones, it was reinforced with aluminum. And if you got a hard hit, the aluminum would bend and it was pretty much done at that point. You'd have to replace it. Um, this one is an upgrade. They're gonna run you a little over $100. Uh, what's nice about this is, is it's made out of a plastic polymer or whatever. It's made to flex a little bit, uh, but it's still rigid. So um, it's gonna keep your chain in place, but it's also not going to bend and bend permanently. So it shouldn't leave you uh, stranded or, or having to uh, fix something alongside the trail. The other nice thing about it is, is the chain guide itself uh, down here at the bottom is replaceable. So if you do wear this out, you don't even have to take this whole thing off. You just gotta drop a couple of screws. You can leave the chain on and pop yourself a new chain guide in place. They're relatively cheap. So why don't they come with this from the factory? Well, they cost more and it is a little bit louder because it's running a, a harder piece of plastic down here versus the little bit softer stuff that the factory's got. So it is an upgrade and if you ever watch GNCC, Almost all the guys are running these things because you, you don't want to have a problem with your rear chain guide in a three hour long race. Uh, the Enduro Engineering uh, rear uh, rotor guard, this is another thing, it's kind of a must have for me. Um, I don't like adding a bunch of added weight onto the bike, but if you're gonna be racing, you're gonna be trail riding, whatever it is you're gonna do on one of these things, if you lost your front brake, probably not the end of the world, but if you lose the rear brake on a dirt bike, your day's pretty much over. So this is just gonna add a little added protection on the back of that bike so you don't spend hundreds of dollars going to the race only to not be able to finish it. Um, the reason I'm not doing separate install videos is because it's kind of easier if we're doing these two things together. So uh, there are some steps you could skip uh, if you were doing one or the other, and there's some steps you might have to add in if you were doing one or the other, but we're gonna do both today, so let's hop into it. Okay, so this is one of these things where if we were just doing the rear brake guard, we wouldn't necessarily have to uh, break the chain, but we are because we're doing the TM Design Works kit. So uh, we've got the, the, the master link right here with this clip. So we're gonna take a, a wide flat blade and uh, just pop this clip loose. All right, finally got the clip off of there. That was kind of a pain. And now we're just gonna take a flat blade. Be careful, you don't wanna hurt the, uh, the O-rings because this is an O-ring style chain. And we're just gonna gently pry here a little bit and get this off of here so we can break this chain loose. All right, so it's probably off camera, but I got a little paper towel down here. Where I've got my uh, O-rings and uh, link. And we're just going to take this off the back. Make sure the O-rings come off with it, which it did in this case. And now we can just kind of you know, let this uh, let this chain come pull it through. And I don't want to get it real dirty, so I'm just going to set it down this paper towel. Now we're going to need an eight millimeter. In my case, we're going to use a T-handle, and we're going to go about removing the factory chain guide. Relatively straightforward. It's off of there. We're just gonna set this to the side and then we're gonna grab our uh, new TM Design Works and get it bolted on. Okay, so we've got new hardware in our kit. We're simply just gonna line this up. The uh, longer bolt goes up front. Shorter bolt. Goes in the rear. Then I'll get you guys a torque spec on what we're torquing these down to and flash that up on the screen. Okay, so with that on, uh, we're, we're basic, we're almost done with this. We're just gonna feed the chain back through on the bottom here, or we can feed it through up top, whatever we see fit. 
Now, <clears throat> we've got this pulled back around. Make sure you've got your O-rings on here. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a little bit of grease on these pens here real quick off camera before we put this back together. All right, so with the grease on the pens, make sure your O-rings are on the back. Then we're going to take O-rings, put them back on the front here. Get our front plate back in place. Now what you might have to do, and I can tell I'm going to have to do, is I do have a chain tool that's going to press this on. I'm going to have to press that on a little bit to make sure i got the two little spots there. And then uh, at that point, we'll just put our clip back on. Okay, so now we've got our clip back on here. I did use my, uh, my Motion Pro chain tool just to help press that back on a little bit. If you don't have one of these, if you've got a motorcycle, uh, they're not the cheapest thing. They're about a hundred bucks, but uh, long term, going to save you a lot of money. So I uh, just helped press that back on a little bit. Now we're going to push this clip on. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but sometimes it goes kind of smooth. Now we get the clip back in place. Just make sure the the open end's pointed that way. No real trick to it, other than just put a screwdriver on it, push it, and pray you don't bust up your knuckles. So TM Design Works uh, chain guides on. Now we're going to uh, loosen up the rear axle and get to uh, getting this uh, rear rotor uh, protector installed. Okay, so now we're over here on the right-hand side of the bike. We're gonna have to remove the rear wheel in order to put this uh, brake guard on. First thing we're gonna do is just push on this. That way it just compresses the uh, piston a little bit. Should make it a little bit easier when we go to put the wheel back on. We need a 30 millimeter. I do not have a wrench that goes that big, so we're just gonna use a breaker bar and a socket to break this rear axle nut loose. Should just be able to spin this off by hand now. And then just pull the axle through the other side. And then you're gonna, it's a little hard to see from that side, obviously, you're gonna do your chain. And this should just slide right on out of place. We'll just set this to the side. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is remove our brake pads. Uh, in the case of this bike, we do have a couple of clips. Pop those off. And then we just need to pull our pen out. Be careful, don't let your pads fall. Pen pops out. And uh, you can tell these things are brand new because they haven't been used at all yet. We'll just set all this stuff to the side. Now, I should be able to undo the brake carrier here. Should slide off. Slide it forward. There you go, it comes off of here. And then, okay, so after messing around with this for a minute, literally just push the uh, caliper off the carrier. Uh, don't, don't throw this away, we're gonna hold on to it because we need to steal a couple of parts off of it here in a minute. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna steal is this rubber boot. We should just be able to pull it out of there just like that. And then all we're gonna do is install it in the uh, Enduro Engineering one. If you're gonna use a, a flat blade, be careful so you don't puncture it, but I was just able to put that in with my fingers like you just saw. Next thing we're gonna get is the uh, brake pad stock clip. We're just gonna grab it off and uh, go ahead and pop it onto the uh, Enduro Engineering one. And then finally, using an 11 millimeter wrench, we're gonna grab the pen, loosen that up. And then obviously we're gonna transfer this over to the Enduro Engineering Carrier. Should be noted, this does have blue Loctite on it, but I think there's plenty left behind that it's gonna work fine uh, without installing any additional Loctite. Okay, so next up, we're gonna take the, uh, the stock caliper along with the Enduro Engineering carrier and we're just basically going to put it back together like it was stock just press it on there just make sure your uh, your boots are lined up and you didn't squish them out of place in any way we're good to go on this step okay so with this back together we're going to line up the uh, notch here and then we can just kind of slide that back into place now we need to put our our uh, brake pads back in now in my case, the, uh, the pressure plate fell out of place here, so I'm going to press that back up in there and then, uh, and then get my brake pads back in place. All right, it was a little hard to show if I had I been filming, but long story short, we've got the uh, pads back up into place. We've got the pin pressed through. 
Now we want to take our clips and get them pressed back in. So we got one. This other one is a little bit harder to see. Two, we got both those in place. We should have enough room to get our rotor back up in. This is going to be kind of the fun part to show. Uh, we got to get the wheel back up in here, get the chain on, uh, get the, uh, the brake rotor in between the pads, and then get the axle through. All this fun stuff. I'll set up a couple of cameras, but uh, trying to explain it is uh, nearly impossible. You just kind of, kind of line it up. Hmm, actually not too bad. Go ahead and pump that rear brake a couple of times. Here we go, got pressure. I like to throw, you know, a 10 millimeter wrench or something in here. That way we keep pressure on it. I'll throw the torques back up on the screen, but uh, make sure you get your axle bolt tightened down to the proper torque, and we are done with this job. So this is one of these things, I'm not big on added bling on the motorcycle, but if it's functional added bling, this does look kind of cool, and I know you can get them in all sorts of anodized colors if you want, but uh, it's definitely going to protect this rear rotor, so like I said, I mean, we don't want to race ruined because we hit a rock or something and we don't have any rear brakes, so um, anyway, it's on there, so let's wrap this video up. All right guys, so that's it. That is the installation process for a TM Design Works uh, rear chain guard as well as an enduro engineering rear rotor, uh, brake rotor guard. Uh, not, not real difficult jobs. Uh, obviously the TM design works super simple. It takes about five minutes to do. The other one takes a little bit more time. Like I said, just make sure you do pump that rear brake because you don't want to be taken off and realize you don't have any because we compress the pads in. So um, once again, those uh, parts are linked down in the description below if it's something you'd like to put on your bike. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, considering that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about the installation process, let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you want to know how well this stuff works, well, we've been using it for five, six years at this point on our other race bikes, which is why we continue to use these products on our new race bikes. So um, as always, I'll talk to you again soon.